guess, how are we doing here? Back to our finale here of Fantasy Star Online. So, uh, yeah, I just want to sell all this junk I have, because I don't need it. That's small money. And it looks like we'll probably get a level, maybe two levels in the ruins, um, once we get there, so... Now, if you haven't seen my updates lately on the YouTube announcements, I do have a Facebook page right now, so I would encourage you to take a look at that and just like it if you want. I'll be posting any updates, and if you want to ask any questions or have any suggestions for my Let's, let's Plays, then um, go ahead and post them. I'll be glad to look and respond to just about all the comments I receive. Until I get maybe hundreds of likes, I honestly doubt that'll happen. I'm not the legendary lights player like H.C. Bailey, for instance, which is really good. He's he's a great help here. So, let's go. And not to mention, I will be breaking these episodes down into maybe 15-minute segments, I would say. 14-15 minutes. Because, I mean, YouTube's upload time. Yeah, upload time has been extended, and so... Hey, why not? Longer episodes? Longer minutes for you guys, per day. So, yeah, um, as you can see, it's been a while since I've been in the ruins, but we are absolutely dominating because the Soul Eater is just amazing. It's definitely going to be one of the great, greater weapons I'm going to be using for quite a while because, I mean, the ATP requirements for its strength alone is just phenomenal. So, I, I like it. I'm so glad I actually got this. I barely do get the Soul Eater through my playthroughs. I just kind of win it and do speed runs and everything for normal mode. With the exception of my Fulmar Marl I have on my other Mermaid card, actually, she's level, I think, 86. It's been a while since I played her, but I definitely wanted to get the Soul Eater for her because, I mean, she's... Well, I use her as a melee force, and she doesn't really have any multi-hitting weapons. And, and say it, so, the Soul Eater can be hit by anyone, so why not? Oh, actually kind of hurt. I forgot Dull Sabers are annoying like this. And I was saying to my friend John that, or my J friend Jonathan was saying to me on uh, my PC file, oh, your damage was really weak, I wonder why. Well, I only had a Partisan or a Halberd, I think. Um, and I was only dealing half the damage that I am doing right now, so... <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, we got these poison things. I'm sure we've encountered them before in previous quests. Yeah, we definitely have. I can... Uh, I know, from the depths was probably one of them. Even though I hardly even play quests, I just... Again, Wayne and Ant, I complete quests that are only necessary. So, yeah. And I think we want to go this way. Yeah. Uh, if I get the... Yeah, this is the one. It's going the right way. Yeah, I'm just kind of doing a speed run for this because I want to get episode one out of the way. And, I mean, it's not really essential if I show you all the rooms and the ruins here. So, but, I mean, I've been through the ruins so many times with my force, especially that I almost lost the all the variations of the ruins. So, it's, and I know I used to play so much back in the day, but I mean, not so much anymore. I tried getting back into it when I was playing with full mile. But, no. Uh, that was just something that couldn't really grasp me. I think I was just doing a normal forest run, and instead, yeah, instead of doing, uh, of course I usually do, it was, well, Forest of Sorrow. Just hunting for rare enemies and whatnot. Oops. Which I am sad we haven't encountered yet, but I promise you that once I do encounter a rare enemy, then I'll show you guys, because that's a pretty nice part of Fantasy Star Online. Sam got the warm up. Some more Dell Singers, though. A lot of them. I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I want to use a handgun just to keep my distance away from it because if that shield hits me, then it's not going to be nice. Oh, yeah, we have another one there. Or unless. Let's do some specials here. There we go. I, I like that damage. And uh, let's just heal, just in case. I mean, what else am I going to use TP on? Nothing really. Uh, and uh, so wait. Yeah bad, I mean, not bad damage, but badass damage, I should say. And that should be the, oh, no, one more wave. Oh, yes. Now, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but what I like to do with these bolt claws is I just want them to attack me. That way, the claws can separate from the bulk itself, and you can get a lot of experience from this. I that's what I love about the games. 
you gain so much experience, and especially in the higher difficulties, yeah, the experience just adds up. It's like you're killing so many normal looking enemies. I mean, which, yeah, they're pretty common. But I mean, for normal mode, it won't really apply too effectively, but it, it can still add up. Yeah, you can see right there, whoops. Okay, let me just... Yeah, you can see right there, I already got a few hundred experience. But, uh, let's see. My virus update just... Or, my virus uh, software just updated, so... Oh well. And... Okay. Now what are we gonna do? I want to go right behind him and flinch him just like this. If you do enough damage, you can actually flinch him really horribly. And uh, really, since he's a slow enemy in the first place, it really buys you a little bit of time. Not too much. I mean, if you have the Soul Eater, I wouldn't really use it. I would just go all out if I could. But I mean, if the if you need to, then use the special on the Soul Eater. Just give that one bell room a swipe and. Yeah, you can plunge him, and yeah, it really could save you, you never know, because those bellers are tough. And not to mention, as you can see, I fully healed uh, not so long ago, but my health is still draining very, very slowly, because that's one of the specials for the Soul Eater. I'm not sure if I mentioned that ago, uh, a long time ago, really, but uh, just in case I haven't, then there you go. And again. Oops, and uh, stupid camera angles, yeah. If I get close enough on Del Saber, then it'll just use the shield deflection. Not deflection, but it'll protect itself. It's like using protecting Pokemon. There you go. Although it's really just evading, because you can't block this game. Well, you could if you take no damage. So, which is actually really annoying. If you do take no damage, then you continuously block, 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 block. And you can't even move, so they're really doing something to you. And all of a sudden, let's say this Dark Bellwork comes in and swings its arm at you or something. Oh, you're dead. Whoops. Oh, there. oh I got a critical there. That's nice. And... Oh, okay, maybe just my heavy attack on low can actually flinch it, which is really nice. And got more claws. Holy crap. Lots of Del Sabers, lots of claws. I mean, usually it's all about Dominions, and... Uh, there's a lot of minions and all those. The, those variations. Uh, wow. And I'm surprised I haven't... Oh, yeah, lots and lots of claws. Holy crap. And I'm surprised I haven't seen a Chaos Sorcerer yet. Um, but I'm sure I told you about those guys. If not, then when the time comes and I see it then, I'll let you know. I'll probably just review all the enemies anyway. Try to vision, we don't need that. Let's just heal up just for Yeah. And of course, you know my habit of checking my experience every now and then, which is unfortunate. Oh! Yeah. Okay, let's just fly through these traps, who cares? And yeah, no pain, no gain, right? I think the switch is it. Here we are. If I can actually get over there. Oh, there we go, stupid rock. Stupid fallen rocks from the ruins, how dare you block in my way. Okay, let's get heal up. Yeah, I'll just use a. Uh, oops. Mono make too sure. Mono fluid I meant to use. I guess I forgot which one's which. Whoops. Alright, and let's just go through here. Back to the way we came, because if we go on the other side, then we'll just activate more traps and get more hurt. And so that mono made and rest of it will be a waste, kind of. Not really. I mean, I have enough healing materials to last me, anyways. Whoops. Uh, Take care of these. Awesome. Yeah, just a single light and heavy. You guys are done. And, uh, nothing over here. Okay. Now, if you're coming through this door right here that I'm just going through, then there, uh, this is for another variation. Then across that huge platform over there you saw, that would be one dark bell right and eight claws. I mean, you can get around it, sure, but it. I mean, if you, that does happen, then go for it if you want the extra experience. Okay, we are dead. Awesome. And what else? More Dominions. Awesome. Oops. I just kind of want to round them up. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Right and let's just swipe them like that. Yeah. It's a sacrifice, but a sacrifice well worth. And, oh well. Threw that wave already, too. Or that this room in general, I should say. I think a good key 
tip is to follow those holograms there, because if you do, that usually, that generally leads to the correct area. So, I mean, not always, but I'm sure about 90 to 95% of the time it really uh, leads the way, so... Oops. Alright, and... It's Dark Bellra again. Lots of Dark Bellras now, jeez. I'm seeing everything, except for Chaos and another enemy, but the Chaos Breeder, I'm sure you guys know already. Uh, but that's not until Ruins 2. Those are the only places you can encounter. And Chaos Source were here, I would imagine. Not. Okay, well, I want to get these Dominions to go around and get them all bundled up because I like the enemies like that. It's really easy to just take them down like that. Oh, here we go, Chaos Sorcerer. So anyway, they're really weak, as you can just see, I killed them in one uh, combo there. But they cycle through attacks. The first one is Ray Foy, which is just an explosion. The second one is G Barta, or G Barta, whatever you want to say. I usually go with G, G Barta, I'm not sure why. And the third one is with the right crystal. The other the other two attacks were with the left crystal, by the way. Uh, the third attack with the right crystal is actually Resta, so it can heal itself, it can heal enemies around it, or its allies, and my enemies, I should say. Uh, when I say left and right, I mean kind of my left and right here, but it's really, yeah, right there. It looks like my left, but it's really the Chaos Sorcerer's right, so uh, just to clarify that. And if you destroy the crystals, then you can't even do anything, so you can only die. Alright, and oh, more flaws. Come around over here. And swipe them down. Nice. And lots of weapons here. Nothing too useful, though. I mean, I'm gonna be sticking with the Soul Eater for a long, long time. At least until I get some of the greater weapons and hard mode, very hard mode to put in. Um, speaking of which, one of my YouTubers actually suggested me for episode 2 that I do episode 2 completely in hard mode. I would do that except for the later areas um, because they would actually be really, really difficult. I mean, probably at this level right now I could barely handle episode 2 myself, so um, I'll contemplate on that depending on how the situation goes. and. Um, but I think for the most part, I will just do episode 2 normal, despite how ridiculously easy it will be. Oh, I'll make it much more easier than it should be. But, I mean, yeah, I think I'll just do normal. But also, when I, oh, wow, I was going to level up, holy crap. And he got shot there too, and that's a spread weapon. But anyways, uh, when I do, um, post some hard mode gameplay, then I'll be posting some rare drops in the video description, like what I find, and I think I'll just post all the rare drops in general in that area. So I think I'm actually going to take a breather here, and I'm going to sell some stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.